Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment. Take us all AMC. We'll be looking at the daily, weekly, and the monthly time frame and really talking about what happened this Friday and how we should be looking at AMC on the upcoming Tuesday. And we're also going to cover about obviously the massive short percent interest change and you know other factors as well. So if you guys do find the video useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below because you guys nothing but help get this video spread out to the whole community. Also click that subscribe button so you always stay up to date to the latest videos. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So candle again, we actually closed at a green. And so this is extremely positive for us. So again, you can see that we closed at a green, um, you know, it kind of just validates about how strong AMC holders really are. And, you know, again, it's looking like our likelihood of ending green next month or rather next week will happen again. We're going to have a nice momentum coming in into the next um, upcoming Tuesday. So let's go to the weekly time frame and you can also see that we closed higher in the weekly time frame and we closed at the price of 44 Point zero two. So again, it's higher um, than the previous week, and that's around a seven percent increase. Now, a seven percent increase to you guys may not sound like a lot, but you guys need to understand that right now we apes understand that this is a patience game for the squeeze that happen. And so right now we're obviously taking baby steps, and seven percent is actually a very good baby step for us. And so this is the fourth week that we've ended in a green, and we've ended higher. And so this is extremely positive the first week second week third week and obviously the fourth week also in the monthly we're still you know only five days into the monthly or other four days and so it's, we're not looking at too much and again you know it's already looking whilst we are in the red it's looking like we have facing a lot of um, buy pressure um you know and pretty much we are just going to be testing that 48 27 we still have a long um, way to go before this month obviously ends and so, you know, don't be fooled by how it is right now for the first, you know, a couple of four days, five days, etc. And so, you know, this is very strong. Now, let's go into some of the important information that I do want to talk about before we kind of go back onto this technical analysis. And that is, firstly, looking at the change on um, the short interest. And so we had this estimate, so this is estimated short interest range of 874 so right now our current short interest is around 19.53. So this is extremely high. You know, we're looking at borrowed shares of 10 million. And again, this is just crazy how it is right now. And so pretty much what it is, is that hedge funds dumped around 400 million. So close to half a billion dollar on AMC and they try to bring us down. And, you know, if we're looking at the percentage change in terms of Friday, we are actually looking at negative. So we actually went down 0.81. So because, you know, it actually, so it closed on Thursday at 44.48 and it closed on um, Friday at 44.02. So there's actually a, a downward change. However, the candle is green and that's what's important because that gives an indication of how we'll be going into next week. And so, you know, whilst it is negative, so we do have to obviously take that into account, we did see a negative 0.81%. So not even 1%. And that's with 400 million, 500 million um, worth of shares shorted. And so what does this teach us? And what does this kind of notifies us about AMC? Well, pretty much it's making it extremely clear right now that whilst it is true, whilst hedge funds can obviously bring the shares down by shorting the price, the price won't ultimately change that much unless you're selling your shares. And, you know, this is again coming very true. However, I am not a financial advisor, so do take what I say with a grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. But pretty much, you know, no one is selling their shares that much. And no one is selling, you know, their hard earned shares. And so we're not seeing the price move that much. And so, you know, it is having an effect. It is close to that 1% change, but that's all the damage they could. Now, obviously, you know, we might see them coming in with more money to bring down their shares, but you can see, you know, the true effect of actually selling your shares and not selling your shares, you can see a clear difference. And also you guys need to understand that right now, you know, there are funds who are buying to AMC now. So we do have hedge funds who are shorting against us, but again, vice versa, we do have funds that are in a way supporting us because they are buying AMC into their own funds. And so, you know, we are in the 50-50 situation. Before, we obviously didn't have some sort of big money backing us up. We had what we had. 
uh, you know, us apes united together, which is already a strong force. But now we also have the big funds money coming in. So that's in a way helping us. But, you know, this just proves again how important it is for kind of, you know, AMC shares to not hold, uh, to not sell and rather buy and hold is the ultimate strategy. Now, don't on Stock on Tracker and let's look at Stock on Tracker. So 1.1 million shares available. So still, they still have a lot of shares to borrow against us, to short against us. So this Tuesday again, you know, this is pretty much how it has been for every weekend. And this shows again how scared the, you know, the short sellers are because, you know, just like I said, guys, Friday determines kind of the investors sentiment going through um going into that weekend going into the next week because if you're confident in the stock you're holding then you're obviously um is you're more comfortable holding to that stock over the weekend you're not scared of any changes and if you're not confident you obviously get rid of your shares uh going into that weekend so that you can react to how it happens on the up following so for this particular case because uh, monday the market is not actually open it's tuesday so for the upcoming tuesday but normally it'll be obviously for the upcoming monday and so Right now, it seems the buyers are confident, you know, the apes are confident. We are holders over the weekend. The apes are already holding, so really this is realistically the ones that are, you know, just kind of buying here and there. So these people are confident going into the weekend. The short sellers, on the other hand, just like how the logic works with buyers, short sellers are obviously not confident because if they were confident, they will keep their short positions over the weekend. However, they're not confident. They're trying to keep this attack coming every week, you know, to, to a point where maybe it'll work out for them, but it's obviously not working out for them. And so... You know, no matter how the technical analysis or even the fundamentals right now is showing the short sellers aren't confident. You know, they're, they're selling off their shorts over the weekend so that they can react to how it goes on the upcoming week. And, you know, compared to us, compared to the apes, they are not confident at all. And so this is obviously extremely good to see. You know, it really is showing that in, in terms of even the short term battles, we are beating them. Before, it was more, you know, we know what the long term effect is. So we'll hold out for the long term. And, you know, we are okay with losing the short-term battle because we'll win the long-term war. But now, it seems like we are winning that long-term battle or rather that short-term battle as well. And so that's extremely good for us. Going down, you know, the calls for the next week, we're already looking at 24,000 calls in the money and only 4,000 puts in the money. And so again, you know, very bullish. But this goes back to the fact, again, you know, by buying options, you are in a way helping out the hedge funds. I'm not going to get too in-depth into it. I'm not going to keep on stressing over that matter of fact because it is up to you guys. But, you know, Looking at yourself, if you don't understand, you know, I do have videos explaining that as well. If you guys want to go look on that. And we're looking down here. So it's looking like the short percentage is at 40.6. Um, and it says the dot pool percentage is meant to be around close to 70 from what I've heard. And so you guys can see that despite the fact they've put 400 million, 500 million in, a dot pool percentage of 70%, we're still only looking at a negative 0.81. And if this doesn't tell you how bullish, how positive we are looking at for AMC, I don't know what will because you know everything right now is just really backing us up everything right now is just showing that the apes are confident the apes do understand what's going on and so you know i can't stress further on about how you know positive we are looking at right now obviously there are resistance at this 48.5 48.27 level and after we break that level we're looking at a bullish momentum going higher and higher and so, but so far, you know, we are winning this short-term battle. We are winning this long-term war. The next week, what we should be focusing on is obviously the price reaction at 48.27. But again, just like how it has been for the last three weeks, we're definitely going to see kind of a bullish momentum because of how we ended on this Friday. You know, closing above this 50 MA is looking extremely positive. You know, slowly we want to see this 50 MA moving up as well. We also want to see that 200 MA slowly creeping up as well because that will be also extremely bullish for us but yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did be sure to press that like and subscribe button down below comment down below what you guys feel about emc and comment down below what you just want to see next other than that enjoy your day